in their attempt to establish a trading post at the southern end of the Straits of Malacca, Stamford Raffles and William Farquhar faced many obstacles. On January 8, 1819, Raffles sent a letter to Lord Hastings, the Governor-General of British India. Raffles was concerned that the Dutch would extend their influences over the whole of the ancient territories of Johor and thwart British trade with China. Lord Hastings gave the go-ahead for Raffles to explore the possibility of a trading post in this part of the region, but cautioned that they should not incite Dutch anger in the process. The first location that Raffles' men considered was the Karimun Islands. But when Colonel Bannerman, the acting governor of Penang, heard this, he was livid and demanded Raffles halt his expedition. After all, the area was under his jurisdiction. Raffles agreed to Bannerman's request, but then set off by boats in the dead of night to join Farquhar and the survey ships that had gone in advance. It was no secret that Farquhar favoured the Karimun Islands, having earlier signed the treaty to establish a port there. But everyone else thought the rocky island, an inhospitable harbour, was unsuitable. It was at this point that Captain Daniel Ross suggested they head for Singapore. Within days of arrival, they were impressed by Singapore's sheltered harbour and accessible drinking water. They also found that they might be able to come to an agreement with local rulers. On 15th February 1819, Raffles wrote again to Lord Hastings. A British station has been established in the Straits of Singapore in the vicinity of Johor, in a situation combining every advantage of geographical and local which we could desire. And thus began British rule over Singapore for the next 144 years.